Okay, let's take this uh, Land Rover lightweight for a quick spin. We're off road a minute, a bit of off road, and then a bit of on roading. Nice engine on actually, doesn't uh, give any problems or what have you. I've done 70 miles on it now and it's not uh, overheated or giving any issues, not too noisy. Um, water temperature is sitting at just below the halfway mark as we speak. Um, oil temperature around about 40 degrees according to the uh, gauge. Um, it's going to have a new alternator in it before it goes out because this one seems to have packed up the charge light staying on which is why I haven't uh, started it on on the uh, film but uh, the alternator is going to be replaced one way the other when it goes out it will start properly it's, uh, it does start fine it's just uh, as I say I can't rely on the, on the battery as we speak anyway now we're on road Here we go being a Land Rover, it's pretty noisy. You may not be able to hear me too well. So a lot of the noise is uh, echoed by the hard top that's on it. Total util utilitarianism in these. But great fun for all that, whether on or off road. I've had the, uh, the low ratio part of the box working and the four wheel drive system as well. No problems there at all. This one's got servo brakes on it, which means it does at least uh, stop properly. Normal criteria for other cars in terms of their noise and everything don't really apply to these. Having said that, there's some um, no sort of extraneous uh, clunks or groans or bumps or whatever that's uh, on this one. Rides as nice as any other leaf sprung Land Rover does. Heater works, which is quite pleasant. The um, cold start light staying on, but uh, it's just a little switch. Um, the choke is disengaging properly. Yeah, you can faintly see the. Uh, at the moment the charge light flickering. Anyway, that's about it in terms of its driving. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you have any other queries or anything else, then 